Well, good morning guys. Just got back from a quick little hike. Turned out the road didn't go anywhere, so it was quicker than I expected. Get back and made a second coffees. But, as you can tell, I'm sitting on a stump. I'm using a rock as a coaster, as a coffee table. And this happens a lot. I haven't really built into the bus. I have ideas for them, for table and chairs and things of that nature for the bus. Now the review title you're seeing up there is called the Minimax Stool. And I'll tell you, uh, it was a gift from my mother to our kids. And it was before our big November overland honeymoon trip that I still have yet to edit uh, in the process of that. That'll be coming soon. But I almost am 100% sure this was sort of a QVC style, online shopping, infomercial style purchase that she did. And when I first saw these, I thought they were going to be just that. These kind of like cheesy things and I wouldn't even try to sit on it. I'll show you how it works in a second. But it has turned out to be one of the coolest things that we use on every little trip or adventure. I mean, I take these everywhere, not just in the bus, but um, for our expedition. Uh, we went and played in the snow the other day and uh, met her folks and had a great little lunch in the snow. If you follow my Instagram, you guys have probably seen photos of these um, with the kids using them. But effectively, there's two finger holes on here, and I'll put some close-ups. And it extends and locks into place. And that's your seat. And I'll put it again, put in a close-up of how it locks back down. You kind of have to pull, twist, and then it collapses. And then you just reverse it out as long as all the little pieces are locked in. These things are amazing. Not only because they're plastic, so they don't get quite as cold. So even in the winter when we go to sit on these, um, you know, they're already kind of pre-warmed a little bit. They are plenty sturdy enough for all the kids and most adults to use that aren't beastly size 6'4", 265. Um, so I won't use these personally, but we've also used them just to hold plates. You know, if we all sit on a log, they can use these as their little table. Um, for putting up whatever they want if they want to play a card game um, I was thinking about trying to come up with some sort of small Attachment to fit an index into these finger holes to make a small table and I still still may do that in the future um, Obviously like today. It's pretty windy out. I hope you can hear me uh, over the wind But uh, I'm just enjoying the weekend morning and wanted to get a couple of these reviews done for you guys This was an item a very unexpected item that I did not expect to love and I totally do uh, the fact that I can get three of these side by side, there is sort of this carrying strap that you can just loop around the outside. There's a little thumb hole here. Um, it's just as easy as Velcroing it on and it's good to go. But these fit easily. They take zero time to set up. And I'll tell you, the other alternative to this that I've looked at are like the backpacking style chairs. And they're generally made out of the lightweight aluminum uh, tent pull material. And it's, it's not usually the tent poles that fail. I've gone through, I think, four different companies that swear they hold up to my size of guy through the motorcycle travels, through everything else, even the ones without legs that you just sit on the ground. And I've destroyed them all over the years. So personally, I will let you know that I'm still testing a front runner, uh, their fold out chair. And I'll be doing a review shortly. I want to get a few more trips in it. And I'm plenty comfortable sitting on a stump or a rock. So anything above that is luxury to me. Um, in fact, living in the dirt is kind of what I do for Wildland Fire. So, this thing is really cool. I'll put some links down below, put some photos of us using it. How's it going, guys? Well, I'm interrupting this video real quick. Um, I'm actually getting packed up. There's, uh, I don't know if you can tell, it's snowing out right now. We're going to go play in the snow. We have a winter storm warning uh, coming up in the mountains. They're going to close all the highways and craziness will ensue. Um, but I'm loading up these stools here, and I was actually putting some of the edit together this morning. And I wanted to let you know that when I checked their website, these do hold 150 kilograms, which is 330 pounds. More than enough um, for me at 265 to be able to sit there. Um, in fact, they kept putting on more weight. I think got to 200 kilograms before this actually broke, which is more than most folks out there. So they're definitely sturdy. The other thing they'll probably put an annotation in the video is they are making a table for this that's designed. However, on their website, it doesn't seem like you can order just the table. You can order the chair with accessories, but you can't just order accessories. Thirdly, this is made in Israel. Um, there's a lot of knockoffs coming, so I'm going to put a link down to their website. I'm also going to go find a knockoff link because who doesn't love a good Amazon deal? 
um, but I don't know that I would trust the knockoffs to hold the same amount of weight. There's some on those Amazon ones that say that it'll hold 400 pounds. So um, I'd probably still go with the uh, the trusty Mini Max, but choose your own adventure on whatever your price point is and however you feel to choose with companies out there pulling other ideas out. But we're gonna go get Plane in the Mountains. Back to the video. Again, you can kind of adjust how high you want it. Uh, we had one situation where we were just using it as a footstool. Uh, they're pretty cool and they're very just boom done see you later check it out guys i'll put links down below wandering beast mini max stool.com we'll see you down the road thanks for all the love and support you guys are amazing please like share and subscribe follow the adventure on social media and we'll see